Hey guys, Mike Zawatsky coming to you from Unique Photo. Yeah, I'm Ken. And today we're going to talk about buying gifts for photographers for the holidays. Now, that could just be a nightmare because photographers are very picky and typically they, they own you know, like what they want. They have you know? what they want. Already. So, you know, the first thing we're just going to talk about a couple of compact cameras. Uh, you know, don't just go out and buy someone a camera, especially if they're. Um, you know, a serious photographer because they're probably going to be very picky about it. But if you do hear them mention that they want something, or if you're, uh, you know, not of the most traditional gift buyer, you can just ask them what yeah. they want. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you could also, uh, you know, a good thing is uh, looking at wish lists. We do have a, a wish list on Unique Photo. Right. I'm not sure if it's. Or you can just always go with the Unique Photo gift card. You know, if, if someone that is very particular, and like we said, most photographers are. Uh, but these are just just some of the more popular options right now in compact cameras. Yeah, so why, yeah. why don't you talk about these two right here? So we have the Sony A6000 and the uh, Fuji uh, X-T10. Now I push um, those together because those both have APS sensors. Yes, yes. Um, the the 24 megapixel and the A6000 and 16? 16, yeah. And the X-T10, uh, both have uh, NFC and uh, Wi-Fi. So if you are looking, to, you know, if you're your photographer gift recipient, if you're is, uh, you know, very connected with Instagram, Facebook, they can just right. go directly to their phone and upload to uh, social media. Right, yeah, um, that's, that's a good point. And all the cameras we're talking about today right here have that feature. And it, it is very popular because, you know, in 2015, when you're doing snapshots, pictures that, you know, aren't for a professional job, or e even if they are, I have a lot of friends that are wedding photographers that use their either their Nikon D750 or their Canon 6D, and they take the picture and they post it right away in like a little sneak preview from, you know, John and Jennifer's wedding. Yeah. And it's pretty cool. Um, and the good thing about these is, uh, you know, they're not cumbersome. We both, both of us shoot DSLRs and, yeah. you know, when you're lugging around, uh, I, I, I have a 6D, you have a D810, yeah. 750. Right. Um, and when you're, you're walking around, it, it does get a bit cumbersome. So, you know, this is a little light, uh, the smaller of which the LX100 will, you know, fit into a jacket pocket. And uh, you know you can take it around Easily. everywhere you are, yeah. or even on a strap. It's so it's so unobtrusive and yeah. and it folds down so small. I'm a big fan of the LX100. Right now it's on instant rebate. It's down to 649. And the great thing about the LX100 is it's not. Uh, you know I have the the EM10 Mark II right here. But I, what I really like about the LX100 is not an interchangeable lens camera. You just have the lens fixed right to the body and uh, lenses that are designed for sensors like that. Yeah, definitely, and you're not buying into a whole new system, which exactly. I guess would be the downside of some of these, um, unless, of course, you don't have a camera and you're just going into the system itself. Uh, and every camera that's on a table is under $1,000. Uh, yeah, it's definitely Well, that, a that's a great thing, too, <laughs> is that it's under $1,000. They all have um, pretty good lenses, but again, that's one reason I'm, I'm pushing the LX100 here, because it has the 1.7, the 2.8 lens, and it's a like a designed lens, so yeah, it's, yeah, it's definitely. really hard to beat. It does 4K? I think it's the only one here that does 4K video. Yeah, definitely. Well. So I, I'm a big fan of the LX100, and the Panasonic Image app actually works extremely well. You know, not to say anything bad about the other brands, but relative, you know, you can actually because it's a fixed lens camera, you can actually zoom the lens in and out with the app as well. So I, I'm just a big fan of it. The viewfinder is really nice, and that's another thing globally across all these we have right here is they have a viewfinder. So these are very popular for. Uh, modern photographer. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So next up is total departure <laughs> from where we just were. Um, we were just talking about little compact yeah, digital cameras. Advanced and cameras, very expensive. This is, uh, you know, depending how you look at it, some people see this as a toy, kids love it, uh, people photographing parties and just having fun with their friends, or some people use it for art too with multiple exposures and, well, and film. Well, beyond that, I mean, I certainly, you know, I got one last year and I use it for storyboarding. Uh, the little credit card size photos are, are what perfect. what uh, It's the, the Fuji it's the Instax. Fuji Instax yeah. yeah, the entire system. Uh, we have the Mini 8 in black up here, the share <laughs> printer, and the 300? Yes, the yeah. wide 300. This wide 300, the there you go. Wide format. The film comes in two different sizes. Like Ken said, there's a credit card size, and then there's the wide format size. This is really popular. It's probably one of our best sellers. So next up on the gift guide are uh, compact travel tripods. Um, you can actually get really small and light with these without sacrificing too much in terms of stability. Um, we have out here one from Vanguard, one from MiPhoto, and one, of course, from Gitso. How could you not go with the Jitso? <laughs> with the Jitso. Um, 
the the Gitzo is of course going to be a little more expensive. I think this one comes in at five forty nine for the for the legs, no head. But I mean, with Gitzo, you this is again for someone who's a very serious photographer. You're getting uh, like absolute highest standards of quality. Even this very light tripod, once you set that up, you can push down on that sucker and it's not going anywhere. Like, and I'm, I'm a pretty big guy, so I can put a lot of yeah. Their, their, on their it. Their most it's, recent advertisement was uh, like gymnasts doing handstands on all their right. uh, tripods, yeah, which fa is fantastic stuff. This is the uh, highest quality for, for travel tripods, but you know, not everyone is going to want to spend that much. Yeah, so five forty nine for us for a travel for, tripod. Right. Yeah, um, so you can go down into the Mi Photo. I mean, the cool thing about the Mi Photo is it is the smallest of the three that we have on here in terms of being uh, folded up, but uh, it does come in different colors. So if different personalities, um, or you can get one for every outfit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and the cool thing is that the larger size than the one we have here, this is the Mi Photo Backpacker. The Mi Photo Road Trip actually, uh, and the Globetrotter too, those have a leg that screws off and those turn into a monopod. So those are- Two gifts in one. Yeah, exactly. So we give some one, two applications on one. Uh, this is a newer line for us, is the Vanguard VO. I really like the way that this one sets up. The legs pop out, and then the column actually flips. The set you missed me almost, bre almost breaking yeah. a moment ago. <laughs> so you're ready to go. Uh, has a nice golf grip on it. Uh, flip locks as opposed to twists. Again, it's just a, it's a personal preference. High quality aluminum flip locks. And the, the great thing about all these different travel tripods that we carry is that they use the Arca Swiss standard yeah. plate. So right here on top, all the plates will be the same across all these. So next up we have a new camera bag. Now every photographer out there probably has a closet full of camera bags already. Just like every photographer is very picky about um, the camera and stuff, the bag is too. So it's a bit of a personal choice, but uh, really in style right now are our messenger bags like this. We have one from Ona and we also have one from Tenba. Now, Messenger bag is great because it has so many applications. You can bring it on a hike. You can bring it, you know, if you're going out shooting in, in the streets of Manhattan or. Well, beyond that, if you're not even shooting, you could pull the the the, the divider out and just use it as right. a carry around bag. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and these are these are about style too. So if you know the color someone likes, or if they like leather, the, these also do come in. Uh, the, at least these come in like cognac. Leather. So the next gift for the photographer and the family is a new strap. Um, there are a couple different purposes. You could have one that's uh, for practical purposes or uh, style. Um, what do we have? Well, in the style category here, we have this beautiful strap from Ona. Uh, nice thing about this is that it will match the bag that you've purchased from Ona. Or, you know, you can go with one that's slightly different. But again, wax canvas. They also come in leather in two different sizes. This is a smaller one, the bigger ones like this. And this one's actually from a company you may have not heard of before. It's Pete Schmidt. Uh, these are handcrafted and made from leather from South America. Usually Pete Schmidt makes guitar and other straps for uh, other instruments, but they just started doing camera straps. Really nice, really affordable pricing too for these. Again, come in two sizes, all sorts of different patterns. This is a, uh, a trendy looking blue denim. Yeah, yeah. Um, on this side, we have uh, Peak Design Slide which uh, similar to the Black Rapid right next to it is a crossbody strap, which uh, has the camera sitting on a slide where you could actually pull up and have it down on your hip, which will be a little more comfortable for event shooting or walking around in the city or right. something like Instead that. Instead of, because when you have a heavy camera, like heavy DSLR, you don't, I mean, even with one of these, I would go shoulder. I, I, I just, it's not comfortable on the big camera around your neck. Uh, both of them are really good at that. And then Peak Design also makes all the capture clips and other accessories for making traveling with your camera easier. Yeah, yeah. Next, we're gonna talk about tabletop tripods. These are a great gift for uh, any kind of photographer. One that has an interchangeable lens camera like this. Simple screw and thread. Now, these are made by Manfrotto. They're called Pixie tripods. They come in three variations. One with just a thread, holds a camera, nice support, you adjustable kind of ball, ball head, head here. Yeah. So, uh, what's, what's great about it too is, I mean, if uh, beyond being a tabletop tripod, it's also a great stabilizer. It works like a pistol grip when you're shooting video. Right. So it'll stabilize a little further than just holding it in your hand as it, yeah. it provides a little bit more leverage. Definitely. Um, also, uh, if you're into podcasting or anything like that, like uh, video podcasting, vlogging, anything like that, you can just throw it up on your desk and, and have it uh, almost at eye level. It's a bad example now because we're standing up, yeah. but if we were sitting down, it'd be right. more or, on or eye level. Potentially, you could even put a microphone yeah. on something like this, right? Microphone, a light, yeah. uh, anything. Uh, so, you know, like I said, it comes in three variations. One with just no accessory holder, just a thread. 
It also comes in a model, which we have right here, called the Extreme. It says Extreme on it, which is pretty cool. It's blah, 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 all that stuff. But the cool part is that it has the GoPro mount. Uh, now this is really useful, like you were saying, as a handle for a GoPro. It makes GoPro super easy to stabilize because of how light it is. You can set it up and do the time-lapse photography with the GoPro. Really yeah. cool accessory. So if you have uh, a friend or say your nephew or kid or something has a GoPro, this is like a no-brainer accessory. For yeah, them. it gets it at a really cool low angle and to get into some, some harder to reach spaces um, than a standard tripod right. or even uh, an adhesive mount uh, for a GoPro. Um, the third variation is uh, the smartphone clip fits any phone from a regular size smartphone all the way up to the iPhone 6 Plus. So again, this is for somebody who uh, could be doing YouTube videos or you know wanting to take more stable video with their cell phone. You know, you know someone who's not as serious about the photography but just wants something to uh, help them using their smartphone. Yeah. So next on the, the gift guide for the photographer and the family is a new flash. We have a couple new ones that we just brought in here. Um, Yang No, I have, and, and Shani. Now, uh, what's really cool about both of these flashes is that they are TTL radio flashes for Canon and Nikon. You have the Canon version from Yang Nuo. Yeah. Like you said, this is the uh, SF910 or SN910 from Shani. It's basically just a Canon 600EX flash, but with TTL capability for Nikon. Now, they both also do high speed sync, and the Yang Nuos will work with existing. Uh, Canon 600 flashes as well. Now, Ken, maybe you could tell uh, why would you want to buy a flash or why would someone want a flash as a gift? It seems like kind of a boring gift, <laughs> but there's a lot so, of good reasons to get a flash. Yeah, right? um, you know, in most cases, uh, pop-up flashes give, give off really harsh light. This right. uh, makes the light source a little larger. It also gives you the flexibility to reposition the flash and bounce your light to get an even larger. Yeah, and, and both, the reason I'm recommending these, there are options we have from Yang Nuo, which are like $79 for a, for a manual flash, but these give you TTL, high speed sync, and the capability to use them off camera. So again, this is again for, for somebody who's a little bit more advanced of a photographer, but we have a wide variety of uh, third party flashes here because the OEM flashes from Canon and Nikon tend to, uh, tend to be very expensive. So you know, for someone buying a gift, these are in a, a nice range, and really they're both getting great reviews online right now, so someone who's a, a Nikon or Canon shooter would really appreciate this Well, gift. one thing that's great about the Yangnuo too is, um, and the Shani as well, they're, they're both uh, radio frequency. Right. So that'll give you the, the ability to shoot off camera using radio for a Nikon, which they don't currently offer. Which doesn't offer. exist right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. yeah so the only one, I mean, you can get a Photix Mitros Plus also, but this is a more affordable range. So. Next up, we have uh, a gift that's not going to be really unwrapped and played with right away, but uh, a big part of our business here at Unique Photo is classes and excursions we do. Yeah, um, the camera's only as good as, as the person behind the lens. So, I mean, definitely the gift of knowledge is something you can give. Like you said, it's not something that you could really unwrap or... or Use right away. It's not tangible. Yeah. Right. Um, uh, we do have... Uh, classes and excursions uh, most recently through college football season we had an exclusive with Rutgers where you could actually go on field and uh, capture the Scarlet Knights I, I know you did it um, it was uh, it was a lot of fun but basically there's two different levels of it and uh, college football will be over soon but we're gonna do it again next year it's gone really well uh, there's two different levels the first is that uh, everybody gets together gets a little photography instruction on how to take good pictures of the action you get a nice pregame meal then you go on the field and photograph during the warm-ups uh, but we do have like exclusive tickets that cost a little bit more money where you actually get to stay on the field as a photographer during the game. It was, it was awesome. Um, you know, if you have any Rutgers alum here or Scarlet Knight fans like, like you, then that's, it's a cool present. But uh, a lot of the- For, for any college football fan. You know, for, it's, any, it's, for anyone that likes football or wants to get into sports photography, this is a, this is a great gift. Uh, we also have all sorts of different lighting workshops, uh, Photoshop and Lightroom classes. <laughs> now, one other great learning opportunity we have at Unique Photo are one-on-one -on -one lessons. Uh, so some people just don't learn as well in groups, right? Yeah, yeah, and it's really great to come in and sit down and just one instructor, one person, or if you come in with your husband, wife, sure, daughter, we, we you know. Sure, we do that too. With, it's no problem. Uh, and the really great thing about it is that it can cover any topic. It could be wedding photography, it could be lighting, it could be macro product photography or 
uh, or, or video. We also offer video editing and shooting classes now as well. So if you're, if you're more of a practical gift giver, we do uh, have hot hands in the store. It doesn't seem very exciting, but uh, we're coming into the winter. And if you're out doing long exposures and you're nowhere near your car and it's... Or it's, if you're just on the sidelines of a sporting event photographing, it's useful to have hot hands. There, uh, was, there was also a, a video recently where um, if you're going in and out between hot and cold, you can actually open these up, crush them out, and wrap them around your lens to keep your lens I saw warm. That. Um, when you're going in and out this way, uh, you don't get any condensation. I actually know a couple guys, too, that... Uh, do scientific videos and they were in Svalbard, which is right near the North Pole, and they were doing a time lapse. And in order to keep the, the remote warm, they filled a sock with a bunch of hot hands and kept the, the remote control inside the sock. And even at that point, the battery was only lasting for 10 minutes. And you know, this is probably not gonna make the cut for the video, but I just thought it was an interesting story. Yeah, you, may, you might not get the best reaction when, when someone un, uh, opens uh, 40, 40 hot hands. Um, but it's definitely one of the more practical gifts that we have and is, is uh, you know, at, every winter and, and fall, I have a couple packs of these in my bag at all times. Of course, and both of these gifts here, we have Unique Photo gift cards and Hot Hands. These are the universally accepted and appreciated gifts if you absolutely cannot uh, pick out a gift that you think your photographer, loved one will enjoy, then both of these gifts are kind of, you know, can't miss. Unique Photo gift card, you can use on anything here, and hot hands are just uh, generally useful. Yeah, um, so I guess that's gonna wrap up our gift guide. Uh, again, thanks for, for watching. Uh, I'm Ken. And I'm Mike. Uh, you could follow Unique Photo at Unique Photo on Instagram, Instagram Twitter, and Facebook. Uh, and Facebook. Uh, Bye. That's it. Thanks. See ya. Happy holidays. Later.